evening. The South African rand remained stable on Friday, with the country's benchmark government bond reaching its highest level in nearly three years due to improved investor sentiment. The rand was trading at 17 rand and 73 cents against the dollar, close to its previous close of 17 rand and 70 cents. Now, additionally, the 2030 government bond saw a five basis points decrease in yield, reaching 8.955%. The Johannesburg Stock Exchange Top 40 Index was down by 0.57% at the latest update. FNB Portfolio Manager Kabul Letula provides the market wrap for the week. Well, this afternoon, kicking it off with the All Share Index, which is uh, down by 0.58% at this particular point, having been weaker by as much as 0.7, uh, led lower in, in particular by the mining sector, which has given back 1.5%. Your industrials have also shown some weakness, uh, losing 0.3%, 0.73%, I beg your pardon, at this particular point. So it looks like um, certainly investors removing some of the chips off the table ahead of a big decision this afternoon out of the United States, which is a non-farm payroll. Uh, so that's a big data item, uh, which will speak to the health of the employment or the labor market in, in that part of the world. But back home, uh, we've seen a, an interesting trend, certainly over the last couple of months, where the, the bond market has seen some strength. Uh, looking at the R2030, uh, that's strengthened. The yield, I beg your pardon, has come down from about 10.8 uh, April, May. Uh, to its current level of about 8.7% on, on, on the yield. It's very important to remember that as the yield uh, drops, it's, it suggests an underlying, or it means there's an underlying uh, purchasing bias with regards to that particular bond. So as yields come off, it means that the bonds are actually being bought up. Other than that, uh, markets are uh, looking at your commodities. Those are quite firm. Gold now well above 2,500, currently at 2,513. Oil stable at $72 a barrel, uh, which, which still bodes well for us here. Yeah, hopefully we see a cut sooner.